everyone, welcome to today's video and today I am doing another Degusta box unboxing and I think this will be like my fifth um, one of these and every time I do one of these videos I link the older videos down below. So number one, my background is pretty much a massive tip. Um, if you haven't yet seen my life update, I am moving out and getting my own place and so it's just slowly a collation of homewares and Ikea stuff, that's kitchen stuff, just spare boxes. Um, so yeah, the backgrounds are going to be a mess for a little while and I've just come back from work where I'm too lazy for makeup and I'm too tired and I feel a little bit groggy today. Um, so I have my zebra onesie, which is literally a zebra onesie. So, I mean sexy all around. And just in case anybody asks, the cave woman hair is me leaving my hair to dry naturally and this is just sort of how it turned out and um, we're gonna go with it. So diving right into the box, you get the usual Degusta box menu if you like. It pretty much just tells you everything that's in the box, a little bit about it and how much it is and then normally on the back you have a recipe and it uses something that you get in the box. Um, and this time it is Jack Daniels barbecue glaze recipe, which looks like that. And I am actually going to be attempting this in a couple days, so I'll let you know on Instagram whether or not that worked out. Um, and normally you get coupons and stuff, and this time it's for um, sort of a cereal brand. So jumping straight into the box, the first thing I can see and the most biggest, the most biggest, the most big, is by Brioche and you get eight croissants. Um, here you go. And they're all individually wrapped. Unfortunately, I was going to say unfortunately they don't have chocolate in, but then they become pan and chocolate, don't they? Um, and I had those maybe last month and they were good. But these are all individually wrapped, so it's good if you've got kids or something or if you have to take lunches. I always go out the door without having breakfast and then sort of start nibbling cereal bars and stuff around 10, 11-ish um, at work. So those will be helpful. And it's like a little sweet treat in the morning, which I can't complain about. Um, the next ones are by a brand called Wonderful, a brand that I haven't heard of personally. We get almonds and pistachios. I absolutely love pistachios, but they're quite expensive. Don't you think? They're quite expensive for what they are. Um, and I like almonds. Um, again, little snacky things. I say it every time that I prefer the snacky type things. Because um, I am a snacker. Um, this next one is a company called Calo. They, I've had their stuff in this box quite a few times actually. I think they do these in the pound shop and places like that. The first one is yoghurt topped rice cakes. Which I think will be going to my mum. And these ones are milk chocolate corn cakes, which because it includes chocolate, I'm a little bit more inclined to try. Um, but yeah, it might be nice, you never know. They say on diets and stuff, you're supposed to have rice cakes and like put peanut butter, well, I don't know, I don't know what diet this is, but it's what I did. Um, and just put peanut butter on it and it's nice, but peanut butter and chocolate, maybe they're tad bit better. These next ones are by Mrs. Crimbles and they are gluten free classic Madeleine or Madeleine and they kind of look like a bit cakey they say there's six freshly wrapped cakes so they're all individually wrapped but it's definitely like a bit cakey and they're a bit squidgy I have had cakey type things in here before but it had um, like nuts and currants and stuff in it and it's not really the same. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try those and they will more than likely get eaten. A little bar which says Get Fruity, um, which is the brand presumably. It's gluten free, nothing artificially added, suitable for vegans, part of five a day um, and it is just a strawberry bar made from a blend of whole grain oats with fruit including juice infused strawberries fruit juice fruit juice concentrate and virgin coconut oil these next ones don't look as happy and they are miss fortune cookies which because out of sheer curiosity we are going to open one now oh it's black it's black. See, I never knew if you were supposed to eat these because I always try and eat them and I'm like, vile. 
Ah, uh, my misfortune is optimism is something for other people. It smells quite nice. I'm gonna attempt to eat it. I don't know if it is actually gonna be nice. If I'm gonna totally regret it. Okay, number two. It's actually really, really nice. It might just be that I'm like really hungry and I haven't had dinner yet, but let's open this one. Uh. Okie dokie, this one says, <laughs> give up at least for today. This next one I'm pretty excited about actually because it's what I'm going to be trying in the recipe and it is Jack Daniel's original recipe, Tennessee Honey Barbecue Glaze. And it's made with actual Jack Daniel's. Obvi. The next thing we have is sadly something that I am really excited, sad because it's me and I'm excited about it, but it is pasta. I am like really, really peculiar, peculiar, particular with my pasta um, and there are certain shapes and things that I don't like and will completely ruin my meal. I have just thought my mum is cooking pasta. And I used up all of the pasta that I liked, which means she's gonna use shitty pasta. Which means that's my dinner ruined. Oh God, I should have given up this. Ah, so annoying. Okay, oh man. Next thing is Beloved and it is Date Nectar, which is a natural alternative to honey. These next two are by a company called Cranes and unfortunately they're not for me. They look really nice, but they're not for me. Um, we have original cranberry sparkling alcoholic drink and this one is strawberry and kiwi sparkling alcoholic cranberry drink but they look so nice it's just a shame that they're alcoholic because I'll hate it um, and then the last thing in here which is what was making it so heavy is pomegranate juice which I have never tried. I don't think I've ever eaten pomegranate in my life. So naturally, I have no idea if I'm gonna like it, but I am gonna try it because I do like fruit juice and things like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that concludes everything. There's a bit of corky. So I know I've mentioned it already, but I am feeling super groggy and so, so tired and worn down today. And hopefully it hasn't come across too much like that and it hasn't been too painful for you to come and watch. Um, but in case it hasn't, don't forget links to my Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr and Twitter are down below if you want to come over and follow me. My Snapchat is now on there also, FYI. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!